Hey there, Colleen here at DIYBehindLemonThistle.com and today I am really excited to share a basic tutorial with you all, but it is something that I get asked about quite often because over on my blog I share a ton of free printables for your home decor and probably once a week over the past few years I get the question somewhere on some platform, how do you print them or what's the best way to print these? So today I thought that I would put together a video sharing not only how to print free printables that you find online, but where I like to use free printables in my home decor to switch things up seasonally. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. All right, so free printables, what the heck are they? Free printables are just documents or designs, images that you can download and you can print you don't have to pay for the file to download it and print and use it in your own home. Most free printables, like the free printables on my site, are for personal use only, which just means that you can't turn around and sell them. So you can't print somebody's artwork that they have made for free on their website and take it to a craft fair in a frame and sell it. Pretty simple, right? You can't take somebody's free printable from their website, download it, and turn around and put it on Etsy as a paid printable. That's all personal use only means. You can, however, take somebody's free printable and put it in a frame and give it to your teacher for a Christmas gift. Absolutely, that is for your personal use. You can absolutely take somebody's free printable and hang it on your wall and give one out to every mom in your church on Mother's Day. Sure, you do you. But I just wanted to put that out there because that seems to be something uh, that I also get questions about. All right. so. Free printables come in a couple different formats. So I like to make mine in PDF format, which just means that they are a document instead of an image. Now documents can absolutely have images in them, uh, but it is not like a photo where you have to put special print settings on to get it to print. Now that is not all of my printables. I do have some printables that are uh, images and require you to print like an image. And those are the ones that are like watercolor or super detailed or things like that. But most of my free printables are hand lettered and they are super simple. And so I make them PDFs to make it really easy for you. So we're gonna do an example of a PDF printable and how I print that. And we'll also do an example of a JPEG printable, which is an image and how I print that. I'm gonna walk you through downloading the image, right through printing it, right to putting it on your wall, the different ways that I like to display them. Now, you can totally print these yourself like I'm going to demonstrate just on my home printer here. You don't need a super fancy printer. This is just like a sale uh, Canon Pixma printer that I found at Walmart like week one of the pandemic when I had to start printing off worksheets for my kids. So not a fancy one, but it works awesome. It's affordable. It's easy to get your hands on. So you can definitely print free printables at home or you can send them to a print shop. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. Local print shops have different ways to bring your files in. You can bring it in on a memory stick or a thumb drive. You can email it to them if that's how they ask for your files to be sent over. Or if you're using a bigger print shop, quite often they will have an upload online service. So if I print things not at home, I like to print them at Staples. And so staplescopyandprint.ca is where I print a lot of my free printables when I want them to look super crisp and clean if I know that I'm gonna keep them up for a super long time. Most home printers are inkjet printers, which just means that they lay the ink down on the paper. Whereas if you send it to a print shop, you're going to get laser printer, which just means that the ink isn't there, so the ink won't smudge. So if you're going to be doing a lot of highlighting, if you want to paint watercolor paint over top of a free printable, I would definitely recommend get it printed at a print shop but most of the time that's not the case and this is totally good. All right so if you are going to upload it at somewhere like Staples Copy and Print you need to check a little box that says that you have rights to print the image that you are uploading or the document that you are uploading. So in the case of free printables most of the time they are free printables for personal use so you can go ahead and you can check that. Another time that I like to use a copy and print service as opposed to my home printer is if it is a really ink heavy design. If, for example I wanted to print a free printable that was mostly black with white text I'm going to send that to Staples and I'm going to use their toner their ink not my inkjet printer that I have to refill ink on every few months. 
Again, that doesn't apply for most of my printables, but I just did want to throw that out there as something to consider when you are printing printables that you have found online. Okay, so how about an example? I am just navigating to my printables page, lemonthistle.com, and then you click on printables. And I am going to use the hand lettered bathroom art signs as an example here to show you how they work. So for this example, you just click on the link and it opens up this PDF document. So if the free printable that you are getting is one where you have to enter your email and they email it to you. When you click that button in the email, it will open up that document. Now, some browsers will start a download automatically for you, so you don't need to do anything. It will just show up and download and be in your downloads folders. Other browsers, like mine, you have to choose to download this. So I'm going to hit that download arrow here and download the PDF document. It will download to your downloads folder, so it's really easy to find to print off unless you have some other settings in there. Maybe the last time you downloaded, you changed where the downloads should be going to. So in this case, I do have five different hand lettered printables for your bathroom that you can choose from. So the one that I am going to choose here is wash your hands, don't be gross. I'm going to put this in my son's bathroom to replace the nice butt one that I had in there before he moved in. Okay. So you can just print on standard paper on your printer and that's totally fine. The only thing to keep in mind is that standard paper can be a little bit transparent. See, I've got a piece here and when I hold it up, you can definitely see like tinges of color through it with, and like shadows, which is mostly fine. But if the background of your frame is not totally white, then it can look dingy or dull or if there is like branding or something behind it you sometimes can see that through so what I prefer to do is I prefer to print on cardstock and I like that because it looks so nice and crisp and clean but also it lasts longer so I like to switch up my decor for each season and switch out you know the Valentine's Day printable for the St. Patrick's Day printable for the Easter printable and by doing that I can just keep these all in a folder just with all of my seasonal decorations and I can pull them back out year to year and they don't get crumpled in the same way that standard paper does. Beyond that, all you really want to do is just make sure that it's not printing in like a draft setting, which means that it will rush through and not do a great job. And you just want to make sure that your printer is set up to print uh, to the right size. So if the printable, like in this example, is multiple pages and you just want to print the one page of it, you just need to go under pages to print and select which page. So for me, that is page three. I'm going to print it on both regular paper and on cardstock so we can see the difference here. So this is the standard paper and you can see how it is pretty, um, pretty thin. That's just regular printer paper. Um, cardstock is thicker and it holds its shape a little bit better and it's also less opaque. So if I put this behind here, you're not gonna see it. Whereas if I put that behind standard paper here, you are able to see that. Some printers, you need to specify what type of paper you're printing on. Mine does a pretty good job if I just throw this in there like normal paper, it just does its thing. And here's the difference, cardstock, regular paper. So free printables are typically in PDF format. Uh, if you are looking to print it on canvas or something like that, uh, you will need an image format or a photo format, something like .jpg. So for example, I have these quotes for kids learning in JPEG. And so I'm going to demonstrate with that here. But typically, if you are printing off a free printable that you get online, it is not going to be an image format. It will be a PDF format with image in it. Okay, so occasionally when you download free printables, they will download in a zip file. So what a zip file is, is it is a compressed file, and so it can hold multiple files, multiple images, multiple PDFs, whichever, with just one uh, download. So it's like uploading a folder, but it's easier to send to people or transfer around. So it's really great for downloads, especially when you're using JPEG images. So to unzip a folder like this, you just want to double click to unzip. So if you do not have a software that will decompress the folder for you, then you might need to download that. But most computers are equipped with it. So it should be as simple as just double clicking and you will get a folder with all of your files inside of it 
beside your zip file and you can just delete that zip file. You no longer need that. You can go into your folder and you can see all the images. So when you open up an image, it will open up in a preview file or something as opposed to a PDF viewer. And then you can go file, print, and now keep in mind, I am using a MacBook here, but the way that you print documents and images is pretty much the same on Windows as well. You're just going to have slightly different keys. And so then here it's going to default to photo on photo paper for most printers. So you need to go ahead and you need to change that to photo on plain paper. And so then if you are wanting to scale it, you can click scale to fit. And that just means the entire thing will fit on one paper, which usually means that it needs to size down a little bit, depending what size it is on. And then you can hit print. So printing a JPEG image uh, or any kind of photo, honestly, is going to take a little bit longer for your printer. It's going to do a bit of a better job, which means laying down more ink. So you do typically use more ink on these types of printables. So if you're given the option between PDF and JPEG, I almost always go with the PDF. It is good enough quality for what I am using at my house and I don't notice much of a difference. So you can see this one here was a JPEG file and it printed just like the PDFs. The only difference is I need to play around with the sizing and I need to tell my printer that it's not a photo so it doesn't lay down all this ink and waste it. All right, so after you've printed out your free printable or your paid printable, whatever printable you want to print out, where do you put it? I know so many of these are beautiful. You can find them online for every season and every occasion. And yet I know a lot of people who don't know where to put them in their home. So I want to show you the different places that I love to use mine and just give you some ideas on how you can display them. Okay. So first off is the absolute easiest and the most casual. And I really love this for office spaces. And that is on a clipboard. So each of my kids have clipboards on their shelving above their desks. Uh, we have a clipboard, I think on our playroom shelves right now, and we just swap out a fun printable whenever we feel like it. They update them quite often. Sometimes they will make their own art to put their it, clipboards. They're like dollar store easy. They're playful and fun and they're awesome for offices. Perhaps the most obvious is framing your free printables. You can find frames for printable sizes so easily. I tend to get an eight by 10 frame and eight by 10 is a pretty typical photo size and a letter size piece of paper is eight and a half by 11. So you lose half an inch on the top, half an inch on the bottom and a quarter inch on each side. And that frames it up really beautifully. So in this one here, it's actually a larger frame and it is matted to eight by 10. Uh, this frame here, I can't remember if it was an Ikea frame or something else. I've had this forever and I just switch it out season to season. And so with a frame like this, you can hang it on your wall. One of the places that I love to do that is in my entryway. I switch up my entryway decor, whether it's with a letter board or a wall hanging or a framed printable for the seasons. I find it is a really easy way to switch things up quickly without adding any clutter to my entryway. We're not tripping over anything. It is just one nail in the wall and it just cycles what it is season to season. You can also just take a framed printable like this and just lean it up against the wall. And this I really like to do on my mantle. I love that it adds a little bit of layering and some fun that this one I pulled off my mantle to show you today. Uh, it's just super easy. Just throw it up there, change it season to season and looks lovely. If you have a tabletop decor, like a console table or credenza or something like that, that you want to decorate, you could also just lean it up against the wall on something like that. Or you could get a tabletop frame that has a stand so it can stand freestanding on your table or countertop. And so you are not limited to print these printables full page. So what I will quite often do is I will print two to a page and then cut it down. And I will put it in this uh, gold frame that I have here on my counter in a little vignette I have set there. So I have a full video about home decorating seasonally without the clutter because I clutter stresses me out gotta be honest. And I've got four kids. We have enough stuff in this house without me adding tons of seasonal decor in on top of all the other stuff I'm trying to manage. And one of the tips that I have in that video is to have little vignettes or spaces where you just swap it out seasonally. So, you know, okay, that area I throw a picture and a little trinket. 
Okay, the last way that I wanted to show you that you could display these or print them out is you can actually print them on canvases or on, I've got these little blocks here as well. So these ones were just printed at Walmart Photo Center. I worked with them a couple of years ago to just design these hand lettered printables that are encouraging for kids for back to school. And so I have one of these in the kids playroom and I have uh, each of my kids have a canvas or a block on their shelves above their desk. And as long as it's a JPEG image, so an image as opposed to a document, you can print them on canvases. So that is something else to consider that is super fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. I truly hope that this video helped make free printables online more accessible for you to feel confident using them in your own home and your home decor. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'll see you next time.